homie, I am on. Homie, I am on. Everything come together looking like it's Voltron. I'ma get it while I'm here. Couldn't get it when I'm gone. Yo, what is up? It's your boy Kevin Paler back to you with a brand new video to the channel. We are playing Fall Guys. Yo, <laughs> if you could tell, I'm so hyped. This weekend, they had a 48 hour beta access, and a bunch of YouTubers and streamers uh, had a bunch of codes that they were giving out. I got my hands on one. Let's get right into it. I'm sure you guys have seen this. If not, it is is a crazy quirky battle royale that is absolutely amazing uh, as you can see look at these guys just running <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen MXC back in the day but uh, the best way I could describe it for younger people or for people who have never seen MXC if you guys have seen wipeout on you know local cable TV or whatever you're just going through this obstacle course it is a battle royale there's 60 people as you can see in the top right the first 45 will qualify yo this game is so much fun very arcadey cartoony like just right up my alley personally i i had so much fun playing this game i played it for like eight hours straight on the first day i got it and yo <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys like a bunch of different mini games uh i'm gonna do it per round so pretty much it is a show like the purpose of this game is you're participating in a show with 60 other people you get to the next round uh and you play another mini game until there's only one person left uh so in the beginning and you'll see like like you see here see there was 59 remaining um a bunch of people left or they, they didn't make it so the next 45 qualified we move on to the next round so normally it'd be like a mini game picker like um a mini game picker what am i trying to say uh it's normally like a mario kart type thing where a wheel spins and i'll show you guys a little bit later but right now I just want to show you all the round one mini games that I've played so far so the first one was hit parade obstacle course self-explanatory <laughs> this one is dizzy heights another obstacle course where you're just stuck on these spinning wheels and you gotta yeet yourself across you gotta dodge in between balls and <laughs> and um as you can see i didn't do a good job right there and i try to hold hold the wall and i got smacked again uh the controls are very basic uh, it is controller supported and you can only play on PC or PlayStation. So unfortunately, sorry, Xbox, you can't play there. Uh, hopefully it comes to Xbox, but I haven't seen them talk anything about it. It is cross platform. So if you're on PlayStation, you can play with PC and vice versa. Uh, like I was saying about the controls, I got as I get smacked by a ball right there. The controls are very, very simple. Um, I use uh, Xbox controller, A is to jump left triggers to, or left joystick is to move around right joysticks moves the camera uh x is to dive aka yeet yourself right trigger you could grab so and that grabbing comes very important in a little bit i'll tell you guys more about that but this game is the seesaw and everybody hates this game <laughs> uh it, yo just because nobody it's a it's a it's a free-for-all like it is it is your typical battle royale nobody is worrying about anybody else and you just want to win so with the seesaw obviously if a bunch of people on the right side it's gonna go one way if a bunch of people on the left side it's gonna go the other way uh if you could be one of the first people up there you'll be all right because you could see me and this dude we're just slowly walking our way up the seesaw and we're fine even though it was like at a pretty high incline uh jumping in this game kind of screws you up a lot it helps you but it screws you up so this is another funny thing so as you can see in the top right five people have qualified already i'm at the finish line so i could definitely finish but yo a lot of people will just wait at that finish line and try to grab some of the people that are are trying to make it across now uh hagi i actually partnered up with hagi 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 me and him were in the same lobby together you could have up to four people in your lobby um so four of your friends could go in and play and the cool thing is you could spectate so if you if your friend dies they could spectate you as you move on to the next rounds um or if if you guys finish early you could spectate other people until the round is over so like you were seeing me i was grabbing people it's okay you know we weren't being jerks uh, at the very beginning because we you know everybody that was going to make it is okay but if you, there's like 40 out of 45 people that made it and there's a race for the last five people and one person's at the finish line trying to stop you that could be the decision between you making it to the next round or you getting eliminated so uh this <laughs> this game mode is a lot of fun too i saw this in the trailer uh you it's pretty much luck of the draw as you could see i <laughs> i didn't get lucky there i thought that there was like a small 
discrepancy in the door so you know which one to go through but that was completely ruled out and it's, it's just completely random <laughs> as i yeet myself across the thing and i almost come in first but dude jumped and yeeted himself and i ended up coming in second which doesn't really matter you don't get points based on which place you finished or anything like that which is a cool concept as well so as you could see like i was saying earlier with this wheel it's showing you a bunch of different mini games with this particular round we got gate crash so this is going to be round two so like i said you started with 60 they drop you down to 45 after round two they usually drop you down to 33 depending on which the which game they pick so right now like uh it's 33 this game pretty easy pretty self-explanatory you just gotta jump over these little gates uh and hope that you can make it before it pops back up <laughs> if you get a good lead it's it's you're pretty good except for this part right here where you go down that slime and you gotta make sure you jump if you don't jump you get screwed and before you know it it's a wrap you might be eliminated the whirly gig is my favorite game mode i don't know why i just have so much fun playing this one it is absolutely hilarious because as you can tell those little windmill things they spin and if you get smacked by it that thing sends you flying and it's just a lot of fun so and i'm actually pretty decent at this one like every time i played this one i'm pretty sure I, I i qualified but i qualified pretty high like i was one of the first you know five people to make it across so this part right here look at this shit show like this is the best way to put it so i didn't realize that you should jump on that yellow block and then you could just jump right over and you'll be fine uh, i thought you just had to grab the wall and go up but everybody's trying to grab the wall so it's like impossible and you just get <laughs> you get massacred uh right there a lot of people like to go through the middle because it's quicker but it's so hard as you can see those people getting flung in the background right there uh i always go to the right side and just need myself across and as you can see there's already two people qualified i'm probably gonna be like the fourth person to qualify i didn't go through the middle going to the sides are completely fine i, I think so until people get really nice and you know then that might be you have to go through the middle uh this slime climb is a lot of fun too this is kind of like <laughs> so my buddies had played this first and they were like yo just don't touch the slime um and and you'll be all right so in my mind i'm like all right the slime kind of just slows you down no the slime is lava and if you get touched by the lava you're dead <laughs> so i was like oh man i was like one of the first people to die the first time i played this game mode uh but then i started seeing other people do the tips and tricks and everything like that and i just copied them and i made my way across this and did it fairly well for this mode uh yo i'm telling you i cannot wait this game comes out like august 4th i think i already pre-ordered it once this game comes out i'm gonna be playing the hell out of it i might start streaming it i don't even know but i know i'm playing this game so much it is so much fun uh <laughs> so this next game mode jinxed this is the first introduction to team game modes so once you get into round two and round three you have a possibility of getting into a team mode team modes are not fun <laughs> i personally don't like the team modes just because it's like a luck of the draw you might have really whack teammates you have might have really good teammates i mean i know this whole thing is kind of lucky but at least when it's your solo it's on you if you mess up or not this one you have no say so but the funny thing is this game mode actually got uh disabled over the weekend because because <laughs> of this glitch i'm about to show you so when we first started playing it we noticed people hanging on the wall and then my buddy was like yo when they're on the wall you can't get grabbed so the purpose of jinx is one person on each team gets jinx and you'll see this little pink ring across the people that are jinxed as you can see right there well if you're hanging on the wall they can't grab you and that's the purpose of the game is to grab other people to make them jinxed and you want to be the last team with um somebody on your team that's not jinxed so as you can see everybody's yo they're all wrapped around me now i'm kind of mad because it's not a foolproof glitch because as you can see i fell but it is very annoying the game lasts the whole entire time and it comes down to whoever could mash the last person that's hanging on the wall <laughs> uh this is another team game mode it is called hoarders um self-explanatory you got to get the balls over to your side uh this game mode is it's not that much fun like i was playing defense and i was doing so well look as you can see we were winning six to one to zero now it's five to zero um and now we're in overtime and we're tied with last place and you have 10 seconds to try and get the uh the balls on your side for it to count we end up going into like double or triple overtime i'm not going to show you guys the whole thing but 
as you can see, we got eliminated. So it gets very frustrating. It's still a lot of fun, but you know, when you get eliminated, you have to restart the show over, get through the other rounds and everything. So it's just, it, it's still fun, but it just gets frustrating because you want to win, you know, you want to make it to that last round. Um, <laughs> this game is another team game mode. It's another tag based game mode. Five people on each team start with a tail. You want to grab your enemy's tail and have the most tails on your team. Um, self-explanatory again a lot of fun just running around kind of gives me like that mario kart battle uh what was that battle stage that had like different layers and stuff like that so <laughs> i think right here yeah i get yeeted i don't know i jumped and like for some reason it just the ragdoll effect uh then we got 10 seconds left we're doing pretty well uh i see my teammate in the corner and i'm like dude what are you doing and i guess he was hiding behind the hammer so nobody could go by him uh we ended up qualifying for that round and making it to the next round yo this next game mode i am so hyped to even talk about when i first saw this i was like oh shit they got rocket league in this game let's go <laughs> like straight up soccer with people i'm like yo i'm about to be nice and come to find out this shit is hard as hell <laughs> so like i want to yeet myself into the ball and think that it, it, it like sends it but a lot of the times it doesn't and i'm right there i try to grab that guy and he was like nah i'm not having it we're gonna push it in so my team gets scored on right there so we're losing one nothing and then they hit it over me and now we're losing two nothing and i'm kind of like oh man uh we do come back i we get a goal a goal right there um but then as you can see look the ball goes over us now we're trying to go behind it and we end up pushing it back towards our side and they end up i think capitalizing on this yeah i try to get a save right here and i think i do but i end up killing myself <laughs> um so we end up i took advantage of that ball that came down and i just yeeted it and it went in but that's because nobody was playing goalie on their side i did play this game mode later on with a couple with my buddies but i didn't uh record it and we played defense and yo we wrecked them so defense is really key uh this next game mode is another game mode that's like in the third or fourth round i think this is when you want to they drop you down to like 19 players or something like that yeah qualified 19 people this one's pretty easy too but a lot of like your first instinct is to jump on there and then just to keep jumping. And what I notice is you lose momentum when you jump. So you just kind of want to walk your way, waddle your way, I should say, and just stick to the corners and you'll be all right. Just dodge the fruit. Uh, I dodged that strawberry at the very end. This is me trolling right here, grabbing people. And then I was like, oh, wait, there's a lot of people coming. So let me qualify real quick. Uh, this next game mode, perfect match. All right, this game is this game is kind of cool. It's a memory based game mode. Um, so you pretty much have 15 seconds to memorize the icons on the screen and then uh, or I'm sorry, 15 seconds to memorize the icons that are on the platform. And then after the 15 seconds, you'll they'll show you um, one of the the fruits and then you just have to stand on the one that you hopefully memorize. Uh, next round, they give you three fruits, I think it is. So the first round, I think it's like two or three, and then the next round is three or four. So it keeps going up by one. The funny thing about this game mode is you could kind of grab people and pull them. And so the you can't like throw them or anything like that, but they start panicking. And when you panic, you know, you could take advantage of them and work. <laughs> I was actually playing with John Sandman and Phantom Ace. We, we were like stream sniping their lobbies and stuff like that. So I don't know if you saw Phantom right there uh yo all right so this is gonna be the last game mode that i show you unfortunately i didn't make it to the end so i can't i can't show you guys like i, I wanted to show you guys my gameplay of the end and when i went to go back on it today today's sunday that's why i'm recording this they the game's disabled until i think when it releases hopefully there's another beta coming out maybe next week but i think by next week i think this one's gonna be released so screwed but this one's kind of fun too you see everybody just bunched up trying to memorize the the path and everything and what sucks is like it's very hard to like touch a touch a square that's disappearing and popping back up um so you're you're kind of screwed uh, i yeet myself across because i'm like oh god they know the pattern and i'm like there's only seven people that could qualify and i'm jump and right as i jump i got eliminated so um it was a lot of fun this game is is tons of fun so the next thing that i want to show you is the customization yo oh my god look at all this silly ass uh, i don't know who gordon headcrab is the unicorn is dope or i should say the fairy coin um yeah again i don't know who the hell that is but i saw a lot of people with that the pirate is kind of cool the wolf was like the first thing that you got when you when you um when you joined up and the astronaut i think you got the astronaut from 
um, pre-ordering, which I did end up pre-ordering because I cannot wait to play this game. <laughs> so they have obviously the two, the double combination. You can wear the the top, the body part, and then also the lower part. Um, then here is the patterns that you can have on your little guy's skin or whatever you want to call it. There's a bunch of different patterns to pick from. So the combinations are going to be endless. Uh, again, the color, here's the color coordinations. It's two-toned. And they also have like a battle pass style thing that I think um, they're going to introduce. So I'll show that in a second. But they also have the emotes, which any battle royale has emotes nowadays. It's, it's like a must. So I can't wait to see if they're going to add like popular dances and stuff like that that'd be kind of cool uh but it would be kind of silly to see these guys do that uh, i don't know what the celebration looks like because i never won i've seen a couple people win i can't really remember what the celebration looks like and for some reason they don't let you see what it is so uh here's what the battle pass kind of looks like uh so it says it ends in 71 days i didn't have to pay for this so this is all included in the game so like i made it up to level 13. uh the hot dog is hilarious um the one of my buddies was playing with the hot dog costume and it's so funny uh they got a chicken costume i can't wait to get that night sky color yo that's that's gonna be so dope um here's another emo pirate jig hunter decal decal you know what i mean skin <laughs> i got rocket league stuck in my head um but yeah yo this game is just oh my god i cannot wait let me know what you guys think if you guys are gonna get this game if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe come back for more much love as always peace